The main focus of uh, this course or this part of the course is how you can you use Power BI to analyze various, uh, let's say, transaction or how to identify suspicious transaction, okay? How visualization helps you to identify various transactions. Uh, so, uh, see, transaction monitoring, when we are uh, looking at the rule-based transaction monitoring, we only have the one picture or only information of one particular type of transaction. Let's say, for example, cash transaction, right? And there will be another scenario which will be monitoring uh, that customer credit card transaction or let's say online transaction. And let's say his uh, location from where that customer is doing transaction. But with the help of visualization, you can uh, uh, review all the types of transactions performed by the customer. And by looking at all these transactions, you can determine whether that customer is doing any kind of suspicious transaction or not, right? So that is our focus of... Uh, uh, my question is that Tabu is also for using the same purpose na, for the data visualization. Right, right. These are both the same tool, okay? These are the both data visualization tool, Power BI and Tableau. Mm -hmm. uh, so our main advantages of Power BI is it is very easy to create oh. a dashboard. Yes, you don't yes, need a yes. lot of configuration, right? Mm -hmm. And if you are a, like a Microsoft mm -hmm. user, you will mm -hmm. uh, you will get this uh, you know Power BI free, totally free, right? That's a, that's the biggest advantages. So let's say, you know, if you are working, uh, let's say in a transaction monitoring area and you want to uh, do a quick visualization or analysis, right? Then you can uh, quickly run this Power BI and look at the, uh, or visualize your data, right? Okay, 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 okay. And it is, uh, you know, readily available. So okay, yeah, okay, that, is yeah. The, that is the main advantages of uh, using Power BI. And, okay, okay. and also Power BI is very powerful also, right? One is visualization, right? Another feature it has is uh, tax formulas. Okay? Yes, yes. So yes. it's a kind of a formula like in Excel, but it is more powerful. Uh, it's a okay. similar like a SQL also, right? So if okay. you have a good knowledge of tax formulas, then you can create a complex calculation and you yes. can uh, enrich your uh, visualization also. Right. So okay. we'll also do some tax formula uh, just to okay. give you the feel, okay, how this formula works. Uh, let's start with the new report. Yeah, uh, means my question is that uh, may only uh, means uh, analyst, uh, is your team member using this uh, Power BI or uh, only means uh, you are using that one? See, when, uh, you, when you are a safety head, right, right? I okay. actually introduced to them, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I actually trained them, right? Okay, okay, and okay. I did it on my own. Uh, okay, so okay, okay. the bank didn't provide any uh -huh. kind of resources, or uh -huh. I did it on my personal level, right? Okay, and okay, okay. by the end of like uh, two or three weeks, everybody okay. was doing Power BI. I had like, uh, I had asked IT department to install Power BI in every computer. Okay, and they were doing, okay. uh, you know, different kind of analysis and it had helped them also a lot, right? Uh, I will give you an example, mm -hmm. that credit card, right? We discussed about that credit card issue also, right? Mm -hmm. And when we started uh, visualizing that data, uh, so there was uh, this result which, which was very startling. Uh, we found that there were a lot of, uh, you know, customers who were swiping that credit card from only one particular location. Mm -hmm. Most of these locations were quite near to their business house. Even some were doing the credit card transaction in their own post machine, which they have acquired from the bank. Yeah. So we started to ask, a uh, question to different branch manager and so on. So we find out that these branch manager were given target to sell the credit card to the customers, right? Mm -hmm. And they were targeting these uh, business houses. So in that time, 
uh, in Nepal, there was an economic recession, right? Currently also we are facing the economic downturn. And what they did was they actually used the credit card to pay their loans. Okay. So they were swiping the credit card in their own post machine or in others, uh, let's say other business house post machine. So they would be able to extract the money from the credit card. So credit card is a uh, short term loan, right? You get a time for 90 days to pay the loan. Right, that right, amount. Right. So, so <laughs> it is, the, I think it's a 40 days in Nepal. Okay. It's not 90 days. It's a 40 oh. days around 40 days. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, in India, it's a time duration is... In, uh, uh, no, 90 days means for NPA, non-performing asset. You have to pay on the min monthly basis. On every 30 uh, days, you have to pay the interest. But if you right. do not pay sub the interest for three months or do not pay the principal for three months, it becomes NP. Uh, right. Uh, same here. Same here. Now, what happened in that case was that person was able to use that, uh, let's say, short-term loan for 30 days, right? And after 30 days, he would uh, like pay that credit card loan with, uh, let's say, a small amount of interest, right? So, uh, in the sense uh, that he was using or he or she was using the credit card as a short-term loan, right? Because the banks were not able to provide the loans uh, to the these business houses at that time. So, this was, I think, I'm not sure. Maybe it was a business decision or something like that so we identified these issues and since there was nothing suspicious right we were able to track what was the source and utilization of the fund so what we did was this was not normal because it is against rules and regulations laid down by the central bank so we reported this kind of transaction to our chief tax officer do you know that in today's complex financial crime landscape, having foundational AML safety knowledge is no longer enough to get hired. Companies are now looking for candidates with technical skills, especially in data visualization tools like Power BI or Tableau. In fact, nearly 80% of multinational companies prefer candidates who can leverage these tools to enhance transaction monitoring and detect financial crime. That's where our course, A Complete Guide to Transaction Monitoring Using Power BI comes in. You will learn how to import, clean and organize your data for analysis and create interactive dashboards that highlight potential risks. This course also covers advanced analytics and teaches you to design visually engaging dashboards that make transaction monitoring simpler and more effective. In this course, you will learn how to get started with Power BI, import and clean data, create meaningful visualization, use advanced analytics, design effective dashboards. By mastering Power BI, you will not only make faster, smarter decisions, but also drastically reduce your time and effort spent on investigating false positive alerts. Taking this course will boost your career prospects, help you earn more and equip with you in demand skills that companies are actively searching for. Don't miss this opportunity to increase your value in the job market. Sign up today and take control of your future.